Hi guys. All right, I'm in Teddy's room right now and I'm hoping I only have to record this one time. Okay, so I wanted to do a little bit of a breakdown of what I want to offer if you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me. So this is gonna be particular to <laughs> things that I've been through, like things that things that I have learned and that have helped me um, on this journey and with like single life, single single life, single mom life, and um, also as I'm navigating business. Um, which obviously there's, there's lots to learn as well <laughs> on my, from, from my end, but that's more the money, the financial part. So I'm not, that's, I'm not, I'm not your person. I'm not your girl for that. But I'm, what I do want to offer is helping women to be fearless in showing up in a masculine energy. That's what is coming through for me and I want to speak that specifically because there's there's this there's both parts like you are coming more into your feminine on this journey but also like what I think that I can really offer is helping you to take to set boundaries and take your voice back um and that is to me a very masculine quality because I don't know all the reasons why I'd have to, I'd have to look into that, but it's a very, to me, it's a very masculine quality because it's it, you, when you speak with, um, intention and when you speak with, uh, clarity and, um, the words evading me now, confidence, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just put it that way. When you speak with confidence, you com you, you're commanding the energy outside of you to look at me and listen. And, um, I, my, my path just as a single person, as a single parent has kind of forced me to be in the, and what I've been through with my child and then taking that and, 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 um, adding it into the business world as well. And all of the craziness that I've encountered along the way, I love challenges and I don't mind surprises. So there's a lot of aspects in that way that don't, that, that, I, I don't mind persevering through stuff like that. Um, having to do it in also a survival mode has not been fun at all. And if they're in anyone doing something for the first time, <laughs> you have to be the guinea pig. But then I, from my mistakes, I can help teach others. And so that's another thing that, that's a positive is like whatever mistakes I've made, I can give you those tips and tricks and you don't have to go through that. You might have your own hiccups that you're going to have to go through because you're a different person than me and your journey is not going to be the same as mine. But that's how we get to be the student and the teacher for each other. So, um, yeah, so I've, I, I noted a few things down and I'm going to kind of try to break this down more and in kind of the, the process of things for me and how like I got to the, these different places as well so that people, you can kind of get an idea of how I got to where I am and that sort of thing. Um, okay. So one of the bigger thing, one of the biggest things that's standing out to me is like not being afraid of rejection. So that's also a very masculine quality. So that, that is hard for us as women, especially if you've been a fawn, fawning or people pleasing and pretty much all of us have. So that one is very, um, very painful at first, but in the process of spending time with yourself, spending time in meditation, um, you find you, you, once you separate yourself from others and you spend that time with yourself, you start to see yourself and you start to take that. It all goes together and taking that power back and seeing yourself as separate from others. And like I have, I am me, I am my own person. And the more that you do that, the more that 
the more that you you start to own your own you you start to see your own uniqueness you start to see like and you and you accept it in yourself whether others do or don't and you will still match up with those people that that do love that about you it I do believe that the more magnetic or you, I, to me, the more polarizing and magnetic kind of go hand in hand, the more that you own your shadow, the more magnetic you become. This is just from my observation. And that means that you're going to have to continue to deal with rejection, but you become stronger as you, as you go through it, you become more tunnel, I want to say open-minded, but more um, focused on who you want to be and where, what your goals are and what you're doing. And you can just ignore n the naysayers. Um, Cause that used to take me out. They used to be like something that it was like, it's not that I couldn't handle criticism, criticism, but I didn't want, I didn't like, making people upset. I didn't like conflict um, in like workplaces at least. And now I just see it as like, oh, that person's views are different than mine or they have limiting beliefs that that I don't have or that you just, especially moving into this Aquarian age that we're moving into now, it's like more and more and more we're gonna start finding our people. That's, that's how I feel at least. Um, okay, I don't wanna speak too, I don't wanna get too, um, long-winded with this. So this all ties together with taking up space, owning your vibe, and self-confidence. 